Hello, I'm doing a video for my book report on the, the Golden Compass. In this first video, I will explain things about my book. The first thing about the book is that the people have demons, which are souls in animal form. The characters that have demons are Scoresby and his demon, Hester. Scoresby is something called an aeronaut. And in my second film, you will see his ship. The second character with a demon is Lord Azrael and his demon, Stalmeria. He will be riding Scoresby's ship, which does not happen in the book. The last character you will see is, in, is a boy scout in our world hiking in the woods. The next thing I will have to explain is dust. In the book, dust is what makes a demon. It also binds the world together. In all of my videos, except for this one, you will see a portal caused by the misplacing of dust between our world and the world of the Golden Compass. The actual book is about Lyra and her demon Pantalonium. Pantalonium. Pan for short. The schoolmaster gives her something called an alethiometer, which tells her the truth and only some can read it. Lyra is, w is one person who can read it. After going with Miss Culture, she goes on a crazy adventure to try to free kidnapped children and save her uncle, Lord Azrael. That's all I have to say, so please read The Golden Compass, and I hope you enjoy these videos. Lord, uh, yes. How's the engine doing? Not too good. We're in uncharted territory. I don't really have a place to land, but we're going to have to land soon. All right. What are we looking for exactly? I'm looking for the origin of dust. Just to bind worlds together. If there's... And my instruments tell me there's a portal close to here. I mean, dust binds worlds together, so I guess this would be a breaking of the dust, causing there to be a portal. And if I can go through it, I might be able to learn about other worlds. You mean the portal will t maybe could take you to other worlds? Yes. Now bring us down. I need to get a closer look on the ground. All right, we're landing the ship, but it's going to be a rough landing. Ugh. I'm going to take some closer Well... Is that engine box? Is that engine box okay? A little rough around the edges there, Lord Azrael, but we'll get her fixed. If you want to scout around a bit, I'll work on the engine here. Okay, come on. Uh, my instruments tell me that it's around here somewhere. I'll put on these uh, dust finding goggle things. I think that's it over there. Come on. There it is. There it is. The portal. I wonder what. I wonder what. I wonder what may be on it. Come on. Let's find out. Aw oh, man. Whew. This is a long hike. Everybody else. Expect me to make camp over there. Well, I'm like a couple miles ahead of them, so I, I guess I took a shortcut with the motorcycle. <laughs> of course, the motorcycle like broke down, but I'll just make camp over here. Huh, a glowing thing over there. I wonder what it is. Wow. Okay. Wow. It's all purple with some blue. But. Hmm. I wonder if it's a portal. Eh, they don't exist. I just sit here watching it. Wow. Hmm. I'm gonna draw it in my notebook. Oh. Draw, draw, draw. The very hmm. I wonder what it does. I'll just throw this uh I'll throw this rock at it. <laughs> ah! What am I through? Uh I don't know I don't wanna know what's on the other side. Delmaria, 
I have found it, the portal we've been looking for all these years. You don't know that, Lord Asriel. I would be cautious. We must go through it, Stelmeria. The only way to find out if dust is real. You don't know that this is a portal. We must go through it anyway. I am Lord Asriel. I'm not here to harm you. Oh, oh. Where, where am I? Uh, the United States of America? Kind of obvious. Hmm. Stomeria, I was right. I've gone to another world. The portal. That was a portal. The portal is true. The portal is true. Uh... 